Hello everyone, Lumberg here. Today I wanted to go over a quick overview of your officers in Age of Z. There are three different types of officers, directors, strategy, and warfare. Your most important officers are in warfare, and I will quickly explain why this six purple heroes selected are the best ones to have and invest in. Um, Tifa is the number one overall best because um, she is easier to get from your elite recruitment orders. Uh, she shows up in the exchange uh, shop, uh, and uh, especially if you're not spending a lot of money, she's the best one. The overall best, if you are spending money, um, is Zeus. Um, his, uh, if you click on a hero, you can see there breakthrough skill which you can get after five stars he has one of the the best breakthrough skills tifa also has a great breakthrough skill air support panda probably is the is the third best hero um, and only so because his breakthrough skill if you click on it is is really um, do, adding insult to injury for your enemy. So if you're at war, you'll love Panda. Uh, if, if you're really not at war, um, uh, using exterminate um, creates additional losses. So it's great for war and demoralizing your enemy. Um, the, the, the next would be the three tier heroes at the bottom here that you would have Stormbow, uh, Alexandria, and Aeon. Aeon is great for SOS, her innate skill it is on melee troops. For each of these war heroes, the, the skills that you want really is long range attack, long range expert, and then melee HP or defense, and then some people prefer long range HP or long range defense. I prefer melee, so it really depends on your uh, formations and how often you use um, front row troops or, or melee troops. Uh, you'll notice Kingsley I don't use at all and I don't recommend that you do um, even though uh, Panda does not apply in defense it's only his innate skill that does not apply the, the secondary skills or the three skills that you will uh, level up still do apply so long range attack long range expert still do apply it's just that his innate skill, the advance attack, does not. I do not recommend that you keep Butterfly, the blue hero here, um, and you replace her as soon as possible. If you, if you do keep her, you can keep her until one of your purple heroes is at least two stars and has a long-range attack or long-range expert equipped and leveled. Then the purple hero will outweigh Butterfly. So until that point, you can keep Butterfly. However, um, this is Butterfly here. Do not waste skills. Uh, you can equip level 1 skills because they cost nothing to, to unequip. You can simply just collect it and forget it. But you should never level up the skills because there is a loss in the skill books when you um, unlearn a skill. Number 1, Tifa. Number 2, Zeus. Number 3, Panda. Stormbow. Aeon. And Alexandria. Next, next, let's talk about strategy heroes. Here in your strategy heroes, it's really important to really focus on two as well. And here it's the, uh, the not so intuitive choice is to pick Godfather, a blue hero, over Braveheart, which is a, a purple hero. And the reason for that is Godfather really does uh, allow you that extra fleet capacity, which will help in many things, including in the uranium mines and every, everywhere else. So uh, the Wounded Capacity is really just a passive skill that only helps if you forget uh, and fall asleep in t enemy territory. In your uh, uh, Major Morgan, your, your primary um, strategy officer, you definitely want to have three skills, Fuel Up and Comprehension for getting commander levels faster. And then, um, especially if you're at war, you want the, the third skill, which is First Aid, you can see uh, this Major Morgan on my account is almost at four stars when I will add um, the, 
the first aid skill. That's probably the most important skill, but because this nation is at peace mostly, um, getting the commander level higher is more important, and later you can swap these and, and, and reduce those fuel up and comprehension levels to get wounded first aid a level higher. These three skills really, really don't need things like raid and fleet speed. Here, you'll notice that I, I still keep starring up Loreline because it's good for recruiting troops. Uh, however, uh, I would not recommend leveling them beyond level one for each of these skills. And really, draft skill is a useless skill. Medicine I like because when I uh, do SOS, I like to switch to these heroes with the medicine skill. And then it actually speeds off and cuts off a couple of hours on a long heal. Um, when you do select these, it's very important to, to select the hero before you do the action. So, for instance, if you're about to send an attack, equip Major Morgan and Godfather for that extra fleet. And then let's say you have a, um, you're, you're about to recruit troops, you want to select Loreline and Sergeant Barney. Whoops before you recruit troops. That's something you have to remember. So some ways that you can do that is always recruit troops in a 24, maximum 24 hour period when you are log on or online. And that way you always remember to equip them, equip the troops, 